It could be or may not be the insecurity and weave tracks that cascade down to lace diamonds dangle from her neck to her wrist with someone else's life tracing to her skin. Her tribal butterfly tattoos on the top of her ass is plagiarism, but I would be lying if I said that it didn't look artistic. The baddest bitch mentality of that thug life never existed in the suburb she grew up in. Cold and sacks don't have corners, and it's okay to stay in your circle. Just be careful of the heat because plastic melts. But I love to see you twerp something, especially my heart when it flutters from the smash of my car windows when you get upset. Then tell me you're sorry and fuck me as if I'm gonna die by tomorrow now. You natural sisters, you shouldn't front. Because Afro Puffs gives moisture to locks that call up in independent catacombs that have never swam the Egyptian Nile, traded in Kyrie shells for books since of Africa, even if they just took a visit. Theoretical arrogance gave up the alabaster for Western worldwide theologies and MD 2020 libations spilled all over her sundress from thrift stores. Every once in a while, six figured income humbled but low profile, and I like how it's fitting. It really it really doesn't matter if some of y'all are natural because you can't afford the upkeeping and the average brother's not strong enough to deal with all those spirits and deities if not one of them. I say, Hotep, you feel me? And I really do love those busy burgers with cheese. It doesn't matter to an old woman who wouldn't trip on a stereotypical looks because you know how to enjoy yin and yang dances of Terry McMillan, Edward Standicat, Alice Walker, and Oprah Winfrey drummers inside feminine drum circles with Trina, Nicki Minaj on Jimbe, and Lil' Kim putting them lighters up. All women, all women don't get offended because they are on another level outside the box but kind of still in it. Reason why is because it would be selfish of them not to give something back from their experience, so listen when they testify, shape shifting in and out of different colors and some more shit, it's not something that you can see, but it takes all God's given senses, all woman is brilliant in every step she takes, diamonds takes place of rose colors thrown at her feet, she is daughters and wives and sisters of God, she gives new birth to a prince in any hood, urban or suburban, and raise him king like Nandi did Shaka, even in Payless shoes, fat, tall, skinny, or small, she sweat royalty, her fingerprints mark territories, everything you touch turns to gold, you might as well place your burden on her shoulders because her crown give her strength to carry a ton of any and all of life's negative circumstances, she is finer than a motherfucker with a battle armor or stilettos, you could go to battle with, she can go to battle with the sun and come out with more shine ready to win any war. Man, don't take light of the feminine energy behind those babble earrings and never mind polished nails when she break bad brass and burns, she breaks fist and burns brass. When she fights, don't underestimate that windmill style because her nine millimeter waves a ton. Lilies and lilacs mix good googly moogly and fine brimstone shit. She pretty hard. She rocks stars. She rocks beauty like amethyst on green fingers. Who is lucky enough to make claim to her? She is God's gift to Adam's weak ass backbone, the blueprint for me not to make this mistake. She is Wonder Woman wrapped in lace bows and Teflon trimming like the excitement as a child at Christmas. You see fire in her eyes, penicillin is in her sweat. She is the antibiotic for monotony. She is our excitement. She writes new life on pages, cis tablets, hieroglyphs and Sanskrit. She birthed brilliance through our fingertips. Woman, we should all be paying homage in your presence. And I felt all of this in just your kiss. Mm.